Episode number two of the gift guide. What's up guys, it's Carl here, and hopefully you're joining me from yesterday's video, which was best tech gift ideas under 25 bucks. I'll leave it linked right up this way. And as we progress through the series, I think we have five or six episodes. The best part of all of these is you have a chance to win an item in every single episode. And on or around Christmas day, I'll be announcing the winners. Of course, it's super simple to enter. Just be sure to sub to the channel, leave one. Only one comment down below and follow me over on Insta for behind the scenes stuff. And yeah, I think the rules are pretty simple. It is the holidays, wishing everyone a very happy season, no matter what you end up celebrating. Let's get to our first tech gift item under 50 bones. This tiny little guy is the RAV Power Portable SSD. And as many of you know, I am literally on a plane in a different place every single week. I bring my MacBook Pro. Sometimes I don't have enough storage space. I chose the smallest storage option. I think it only has 512 gigs. This guy essentially doubles my storage and obviously it won't break the bank. No one wants to pay for extra storage from Apple. They charge ridiculous amounts of money. This guy just plugs in with a simple USB-C port. It's now becoming the standard. And like I said, it's tiny, portable. This thing can fit into any pocket and it stores all of the footage just like this very video that I'm recording. It's super dope and would definitely recommend this. Speaking of my MacBook Pro, or if you've just picked up a computer that only has USB-C ports, you may still need to live the dongle life. A lot of old accessories still use classic USB or even your SD card. If you're importing footage in, you may need to use something like this. I like this guy because it matches the exact same finish as my MacBook Pro. I think it's also available in silver and gold as well. I have one specifically for say my iMac Pro because you hate to reach behind an iMac and insert your SD card. You wanna stick things in from the front, not from the back. Next on your list, I think this is one of the best pieces of tech just in general, not even for under 50 bucks. It's the Google Nest Mini. It's their V2, their second gen that just came out. I'm sure you guys have seen this pretty iconic speaker. The overall design hasn't changed too much from last year. We now have a wall mount hole on the back. So if you do wanna mount this, just remember you will see the cable running down. Unless you're super dedicated and want to drill into your wall to mount this guy, I obviously wouldn't recommend that. The LEDs are slightly different, but you can see it has that same circular design. We've got the mesh up top and the rubber bottom. This is essentially the start of many people's smart home tech game, as it of course does have Google Assistant integrated. You can ask it to turn off your lights, open up the doors, whatever smart accessories you have, you can link it to Google. Speaking of Google, if you're looking for a great stocking stuffer or even a gift, I've given a lot of these to my friends as well. This is the Google Chromecast and not everyone has a smart TV. You don't wanna spend three, 400 bucks on a gaming console. If you wanna watch content like Netflix, YouTube, you can stream from your phone. This guy kind of is the solution to that. It's a simple HDMI plug and play, lives at the back of your TV and it turns your non-smart TV into a smart one. If you are though a gamer, I'm on team Xbox side, check out limited edition or customized controllers. You can see this guy that I've got here is specially designed to have of course my favorite color, hints of orange all throughout. And I think this makes one of the coolest personal gifts to someone. Keep in mind though that controllers across the board, whether it is Xbox or PlayStation, do come in different colorways. So it's a bit funky. It's different than the standard black controller that everyone usually gets. And I think it's a great personal touch to anyone's gaming rig or their own setup. To a pair of headphones, and if you're looking in that $50 price range, I don't think you can beat these. These are the Tautronic Sound Surge 60s. They do come in newer variants, but the older ones, of course, are cheaper and they perform just as good. Super comfy, active noise canceling. I've used them across 10, 12 hour flights, so you know they do kind of survive. Obviously not as good quality as say Bose's or Sony's, but those cost three, 400 bucks. If you're in the budget game, remember all links are listed down below. And last but not least, one of my favorite camera accessories, these are the Peak Design straps. If you've got that photographer in your life, these kind of straps are game changers. They come with these little dongles that you attach to the end of your cameras. And as they are quick release, you can see how quick I can get this guy set up. It's now secure, it's on my neck. 
obviously length adjustable. They're super comfy. They come in a ton of different colorways. I love them so much that I have one in black, gray, as I've got two different cams that I record on. Peak Design stuff is usually on the pricier end for camera accessories, but I think you invest in the quality and you know, you never kind of need to go back after that. Anyways, that kind of wraps up the best tech gift ideas for under 50 bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Remember, we've got tomorrow's episode, which I believe is under $100. So make sure you stay tuned. Yesterday's video linked this way, 25 bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, giveaway updates coming in and around Christmas time. Hope you're all enjoying the great holiday season. Peace.